Hi, my name is Brian Turlington. I'm an attorney here in Monterey with Fenton and Keller, and I am the newly elected president of the Monterey County Film Commission. And the Monterey County Film Commission, we're about to enter our 25th anniversary year in 2012. The Film Commission was created by the Board of Supervisors back in 1987, and the reason it was formed, a lot of filmings happened in Monterey County over the, over the years, but in 1987 the county was fielding so many requests from filmmakers looking to shoot in Monterey County, they decided let's create a film commission like other areas have, like down in Los Angeles and, and Santa Barbara and whatnot. So they did in 1987, and initially they hired an dire executive director in 1988. I think the budget was around $22,000. And the initial board of directors, each supervisor, selected one board member for each supervisorial district. However, in 1989, the Film Commission registered and became a nonprofit. So we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization, which allows us, in addition to the money that we receive from the county, and we do answer to the county for, for the monies we receive, we're able to go out and fundraise on our own. And that's really, truly the mission of the Board of Directors, is to fundraise for the Monterey County Film Commission so that our Director of Marketing and Promotion, Karen Nordstrand, who's been with us over 21 years, can go out and proactively market Monterey County as a film uh, destination. And really that's our mission statement. We are proactively marketing Monterey County as a filming destination for the film, television, and related industries, as well as providing educational opportunities uh, for filmmaker in related areas. Now the, our bread and butter is really commercial shoots and still photography, okay? uh, fashion magazines and whatnot that we'll use locations throughout the county. Right, right now, our last year, we brought in roughly $4.1 million to the county related to film activities, and that was on a budget from the county of just under $120,000. So a pretty good return on investment, we like to think. We receive funding from the, the county, and it's a percentage of the transit occupancy tax. So we have a set formula where we get a little percentage each year off the TOT. Um, we do that less, but we also are a similar type formula with the Convention and Visitors Bureau as well as the Arts Council. In, two, in 2008, we had a budget of over $160,000 from the county. This year, we have a budget of under $107,000. So we're having to make do with less. That said, we field roughly a 500 filming inquiries a year, and about 70 projects will come to fruition in Monterey County. Last year, we had a couple of a larger independent feature film productions. I Melt With You, an independent feature film shot here in the Bay in Fort Ord with Jeremy Piven and Rob Lowe. Big Sur was filmed by Michael Polish based on Jack Kerouac's book, Big Sur. Years past, One Fast Mover, I'm Gone, Jack Kerouac's Big Sur was also filmed by Kerouac Films down, down in Big Sur. And in fact, the Film Commission, we did a collaboration with the Henry Miller Library, did an evening of music with Jay Farrar and Ben Gibbard, who provided music for the film and, and showed the film. Now, the point about mentioning those two feature films, a feature film, an independent feature film, like I Melt With You or Big Sur, um, that can leave over $40,000 a day in the community. And how does it do that? Because when those film crews come, they need lodging. So they stay in area hotels. They need dry cleaning. They go to the cleaners. They need to eat. They go to restaurants. They need to fuel up on gas. They need lumber for sets. They go to a local lumber yard. It also provides business opportunities for local people involved in the, in the film industry. So our, our staff, our office staff, which is Karen Nordstrand, our, our director of marketing and promotion, her job is to field those inquiries and someone calls. She helps them get permits. Okay? There's a whole host of regulatory issues you have to deal with if you just want to shut down a main street and film somewhere or you want to go out onto someone's property. She handles those kind of requests. She'll help them through the permitting process. She'll help them find the equipment that they may need or the staff that they may need for something. She'll help them with lodging. We can get lodging discounts and breaks for people. However, it's important to note that the Monterey County Film Commission 
when there's a permit issued, we don't see any of that money. That money would go to the city of Salinas. It would go to the county of Monterey, or if we need the California Highway Patrol to help, they might get money. We don't see any revenue in, uh, stream from those kind of permits, and that's kind of a misconception. People think that we get a percentage of that. We don't. So our board of directors is we have a minimum of 10 up to a maximum of 25, and ideally we want to represent a broad spectrum of the county, which that means we're the whole county. We don't want to just be Monterey Peninsula centric. However, that tends to happen with a lot, lot of nonprofits in Monterey County. And we seek to have people, and it's required in our bylaws, have uh, representatives of agriculture, law enforcement, uh, industry, business, and the film related industries. And currently we do have uh, two or three members that are involved in the film industry. We do have a law enforcement chief, Michael Klein of San City, is on our board of directors. He's the mayor's designated select, so he reports to the various mayors about our activities and what's going on. A couple of other things to tell you about the, the film commission is that we have what we call our Real Scouts location database, and that allows a film production company, if they're looking for a specific area, they can go online to our database and search for things, and we'll help, help them do that. Of course, we have incredible, breathtaking scenery throughout Monterey County, but we also have other areas. So we're out on the former Fort, Fort Ord. Um, I have actually know of someone who's trying to do a small independent zombie film out there, and it lends itself well to that. Uh, bandits with Billy Bob Thornton and Bruce Willis use back streets of Salinas. So it's not just the picture of Bixby Canyon Bridge, even though every car commercial that ever comes through tends to want to use the aquarium or Bixby Canyon Bridge. And, and that's an important point because one of the things about the Film Commission is we are a picture postcard from Monterey County. I know for myself, I first learned of the aquarium from Star Trek. Okay? It's the kind of thing people see Monterey County destinations on this big screen on TV and we're a continual sort of source of information and a, and a postcard, as I said before, for the county. So we provide that real scale database. We also, a lot of what we do is we work with private property owners. Okay? So if we're looking for a house that has a pool or some sort of backdrop, like we used in, ba we helped with Basic Instinct, the Sh Sharon Stone house that was here in Monterey County, even though people think it was up in Marin, it was really in Monterey County. We're constantly helping homeowners get their properties registered with us so that they can be part of that location file. That said, we don't handle the contract or work with the individual property owner and the filmmaker on the details, but we can sort of help guide them through that process. As I mentioned earlier, one of our purposes is to promote educational opportunities in the filmmaking industries. And one of the ways we do that is through our real jobs, R-E-E-L, jobs where we bring in people in the film industry and talk about different aspects. We've had animators from Pixar talking about animation. We've had voiceover specialists come in and talk. We've had Alan Silvestri talk about music composing for films. And so we, we do that. We also have a screenwriting competition each year where we accept screenplays and we judge those and then we award a prize. We also have a student film scholarship contest that we've been running about three years now. That's funded in part by Community Foundation of Monterey, and we award a $1,000 scholarship to a local filmmaker. And we use local filmmakers as part of their capstone project to, to help, help them get their films made. This is an amazing creative area, and I think one of the histories of this area is Carmel and its bohemian artistic community, which attracted a lot of people from the greater arts community up here. You know, going back into the, the 20s, 30s, and 40s, you had filmmakers coming up from the burgeoning Hollywood industry to see this area. I mean, some of the early films filmed around here, I mean, I can't remember the exact year, but Alfred Hitchcock's Rebecca was formed out at, filmed out at Point Lobos. So that uh, natural scenic beauty brings people up here. You also have a lot of people from the Hollywood filmmaking community that come up here, maybe it's a weekend trip or something, they fall in love with the area, they tend to want to come back. And that's one of the assets and benefits that we have to attract filmmaking to this area. But as I mentioned before also, not only do we have that great scenic natural beauty, we also have a lot of talented people that have worked in the industry that we can provide crew and help with a production. 
And we also have not just that breathtaking, like big sort of coastal beauty, beauty or the Monterey Bay, but we also, as I mentioned before, have you know, back lots. We have some industrial areas that people don't necessarily associate with us at first. So we're able to give a production a full gamut of sort of backdrops and locations that maybe other areas can't provide for filmmaking.